hey guys welcome to Android Guido. in this video we are going to have a brief overview of the XOSP room and uh, as you can see that the build number is 6.2 and this is the sixth release of XOSP and this is the second revision and the build date is 15th of June this room comes in with Android Marshmallow 6.2.1 and uh, it also comes in with the June security patch and as you can see that the built-in kernel is enforcing um, so you know the as the name suggests the Xperia open source project uh, you know that it aims at getting you the best features of the Xperia UI and uh, also some more custom added features and uh, you know the uh, as I already told you that uh, most of the features in the room are there from the Xperia UI so the built-in launcher is also from the Xperia smartphones and uh, you know it comes in with ample number of options and you do have auto rotation then you can uh, customize the icon size uh, then you can choose a ch use a icon pack if you want to then you can show the names in the docs uh, if you want to then uh, automatically place icons together then you have various animations in here flat flow concave convex and windmill then uh, you can check this option if you want to get app recommendations from the google play store then add icons to home screen uh, you, you can then also avoid duplicate avoid using du du the duplicate icons on your home screen by checking this option and then you also have the double tap to sleep option um then under widgets i don't think that we do get any widgets which are specific to the room uh, but we do have power control here which allows you to you know quickly toggle on and off your wi-fi bluetooth airplane mode sync and auto brightness then um, we have the, these wallpapers you know these are the ones which you get you know these are from the xperia smartphones too and some of them have been specifically designed for the xsp rom um uh, yeah but uh, guys just i uh, want to just make sure that uh, to tell you that you know the themed option does not work um you know uh, actually the and uh, you know don't be mistaken that you would be getting those uh, uh, themes which the xperia smartphones come come in with you know this uh, the xsp rom comes in with the cm theme engine and uh, you know the theming uh, which we have in the xperia smartphones and the one which we have in uh, the xsp rom you know they are completely different uh, you know in the xperia smartphones we have a theming which is based on overlays and uh, you know some guys are also developing on that to make it the next generation of theming for uh, android smartphones and uh, you know in the xsp rom we have the cm theme engine so these two things are completely different so just keep that in mind um then uh, you know these are the apps which you get you get email calculator clock settings you know those of you who want to have a look at the clock you know, this this is uh, what is there in the clock app and uh, um, you know you also don't get the gallery the gallery app in by default I just installed it and um, as I was telling you this room comes in with the CM theme engine okay so getting into the customizations now um, so under XSP settings you know you can uh, enable the xosp logo if you want to i would just show that and then uh, you can disable the super user indicator if you want to and then you have various uh, font styles and you know these are the ones which you get then next up you can also change the font size to the minimum being 4 and the maximum being 23 then uh, we have your date small and uh, normal font sizes then the date styles normal lowercase and uppercase you know the normal one is the one in which the first character would be uppercase followed by lowercase characters and i guess lowercase and uppercase are pretty clear from their name then you can customize the uh, date formats you know these are the ones which we have mm, then the position of the date left or right of time and you can show the clock second if you want to you know your carrier label settings you know, key card status bar or on both then you can have a custom carrier label if you want to and uh, as you can see that the keyboard is also there from the xperia smartphones and uh, you know it's a good one and 
I you do also get gesture typing as you can see um, then you have various settings you know if you want to you know these are the you have various customizations uh, you know if you want I will just give you a look at that and then you can change the languages if you want um, you also have gesture typing as I told you and so you ample number of options there too um, and then in, in the end you can customize the carrier label color okay so next up we have the status by traffic monitor um, you know if you can uh, if you want to have the outcoming and the incoming traffic both then you can check in the last option or if you want the other of the two then you can check their respective options in then you have a display unit um, update interval and you can auto hide the network traffic uh, icons when there is no data exchange then you have your lock screen personalizations you know you can set your lock screen wallpaper from here and uh, if you want to set the uh, lock screen wallpaper to the default one which uh, which uh, you know the wallpaper which is set to, uh, as you know with the wallpaper which is being used by your launcher tool then you can uh, use the clear lock clear lock screen wallpaper option you also have lock screen blur uh, but uh, guys just keep in mind that uh, it uh, consumes your battery too and then uh, you can enable or disable the on-screen navigation bar then you have your navigation bar customizations height and width then you have your buttons and layout settings and these are you know you have these options by default in and then uh, you know, suppose if I add the torch option in and uh, you know if you want to add an empty button then uh, you can also do that and uh, then customize its actions etc but I would just restore to default then uh, you can show your arrow keys while typing then you have your slim dim you know, dim the buttons after inactivity and uh, I will show you you know the buttons to get dimmed after a certain period of time and I guess that they should have got dimmed by now uh, but anyways guys uh, so you can you also have those listen for touches on the entire screen you can check that option in if you want to and then we have the timeout before dimming and dim alpha 2 and then uh, you can also animate the uh, dim settings so as you could have seen that uh, we did have that uh, dimming of the on screen navigation bar as you can see and you know the listen for touches on the entire screen actually uh, you know it would uh, wake up the navigation bar icons again but if you disable this option then you would only have uh, then after the navigation bar icons have been dimmed and uh, you know when I am touching the screen further they won't get uh, they won't wake up again so you know to um, wake them up or um, you know to further brighten their that white color you know anyways you can call it uh, you need to click on the navigation bar icons then you have your backlight time um, double tap to sleep on the navigation bar you also have your power menu if you ample number of options here and uh, this is how your power menu looks like then uh, end call press the power button twice to launch the camera and then you have your various hardware keys customizations in the end you have your volume rocker ones and uh, playback control control ringtone volume keyboard cursor control and you can reorient them then we have miscellaneous personalizations we have the system app remover and then double tap anyway on the screen to wake up the device then you have the double tap to sleep option too double tap to sleep on the lock screen prevent accidental wake up you know it's great to have that more that feature in then you can also use the on the go mode and you know there it comes on the top then you have your recent settings you know you can select that if you want to show the clear all button and we get the six options from which uh, you can uh, uh, place the where you can place the clear all button then you have a screen and animations and we only have toast animations here and these are the ones which you get then we have your dashboard settings and if you want to show your settings menu in the form of 
uh, multiple columns then you can use this option by default it is enabled at one you know you can use the you can also have your uh, settings uh, your settings menu in the form of two and three columns too then uh, dashboard tile view uh, you, know, you can show the dashboard tiles in two lines and then you have your dashboard switches you know if you want to have them on or off and in the end if you want to show the charging current on the lock screen you can just check that in you know the uh, dashboard switches uh, are those Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth toggle on and off switches if you are unfamiliar with that feature then uh, you can also have the task manager icon shown in the notification header if you want to and it is just above time as you can see and uh, it's the animation is pretty cool too um, then you also have your time contextual headers and you have three options default modem and poly hd and you know currently i have enabled the default one as you can see then uh, in the end you have your about xosp and you know it's a pretty great room and uh, in fact this room uh, has been released uh, this year itself and uh, my device was one of the first ones to get an official build in so you know if you want to thank your maintainers and you know view their contributions in then um, you, uh, i then you should do that definitely maybe you know give them a donation or two and you know it's really very great of the uh, you know on the part of the developers because they spend in uh, uh, loads of time uh, especially in cooking this app for you and you know fixing various bugs so if you want to do that then um, you know you can click on the donate to the development link and uh, this would um, help the developers as you can see and uh, the lead developer i'm not going to pronounce his name because i'm sure that i'm going to get it wrong but uh, you know if you uh, if you uh, like this home then i would definitely recommend you to head over to that uh, donation section and donate a dollar to you know it does not cost much and you know it would uh, it would make the developers happy too that uh, you know you are recognizing their contribution their efforts um, so if you want to do that then uh, please go ahead and make a donation or two then you have your wiper for android too um, you can you would have to install the wiper for android uh, driver it's uh, not installed in by default but uh, as i you know uh, in this build we have busybox enabled by default from the 6.1 build so you know you don't have to flash busybox or you know install an app from the play store just to install busybox so you know you can just click on yes and then reboot your phone to install busybox um, then uh, next up you have the xsp delta uh, but you know in uh, in the 6.1 build it was reported that the delta updater was not working properly but um, you know it is working properly now uh, the developers have told that um, so you know i currently am on the latest build so i won't be getting any updates uh, i think that's pretty obvious so but uh, you know you would do get the the delta updates or the entire room you know the delta updates are another great feature to have in you know you can just download small packages to upgrade from your current build to the next one then you have your sound settings here um and other sounds we have the dial pattern screen locking sounds touch sounds volume adjustment sounds and you can enable or disable the charging sounds if you want to um display and lights have your adaptive brightness live display sleep time out um then your lcd density daydream phone sizes show the search bar in the recent menu then as i told you you have the cm theme engine then you have your notification settings here nothing new on the lock screen options uh, you have you can choose your lock or your lock type um then um, we have the live lock screen lock screen message lock screen shortcuts you can customize the bottom screen uh, bottom locks in shortcuts from here and uh, if you want to show the weather then you can just check then uh, check in this option um, and next up we have the battery saver and uh, in the battery saver uh, the maximum one at 
at with the maximum battery at which you can enable the battery saver is 15 percent and uh, under security um, you know, make sure you, you check in the unknown source option um, it is not checked in by default then you have a status bar settings here you, know, you can uh, show or hide whichever icons you want to suppose you know the cast icon is being shown at the moment so I can just when I just check it off it it would get uh, hidden then you have your clock style right center left or you can hide it then we have your AM PM style you know the normal and the small font styles then you have your battery status style on you know, the Xperia battery icon Xperia type battery prototype you can check that option in and uh, and if you hide it it would get hidden um, then you have your brightness control and uh, notification count and you also have a quick pull down in the end um, and your privacy you do get the privacy guard block caller list and protected apps and then you have your date and time settings your weather settings are here too in the end and uh, um, and the storage and USB you know it's this is a pretty uh, you have 314 MB out of the 2.23 GBs so if you are not um, not using a Sprout 4 device or an Android 1 device then you can just ignore this and uh, that's that's all I think that we have um, well and we also have the XOSP file manager guys as you can see um, I would say that they have just uh, theme the CM file manager um, so it's great to have that too okay um, then uh, in the end I would just like to show you the quick setting tiles which we have um, you know you can if you want to show the weather then you need to slide to the left from the first quick toggle screen uh, in fact slide right and you know you can if you want to show the weather then you to you need to check this option and uh, my tiles then you have your brightness slider if you want to show that enlarge first row tri state location and reset to the default layout these are the options which we have and if you want to add any tiles then you know you have battery saver caffeine um, you know caffeine one would just keep your phone on for a certain amount of time I would just like to show it to you um, then I would just show you uh, I'll just show it to you um, you have lock scene system profiles you know these these are the tiles which you have you know great number of options they do so you know basically using caffeine tile you know so if you are having your tea or coffee and uh, you would like to use your phone along with that then you know uh, when you are using the caffeine tile then uh, you know as you can see there was a five minute time timer and uh, for the next five minutes your screen would remain on no matter what the screen timeout you have set even if it is one or two minutes the screen would remain on for the next five minutes and you can just uh, change that timer as per your will you also have that infinite option if you want your phone to stay awake and uh, I think I forgot to show you the developer options um, so and you have to click on tap on the build number seven times to enable that and you have your advanced reboot here then um, you know if you you also have that super su for root access then make sure you check the android debugging option in i've mentioned it a number of times now um, you have your animation settings here and you also get the multi window mode in at the end of that um, and in the end we have the kill app back button so that's all guys which what i think i have got for you guys in this video um, so it's a pretty cool one as I would told you I, I would you know you can just go ahead and flash that you can find it uh, on Google Plus or on XDA or you know maybe uh, do a search on Android file host and uh, maybe then you know you can find a build for your device too so thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more of more videos from my channel then make sure that you hit that subscribe button too so thanks for watching guys have a nice day